and welcome to another video from Otter Robotics and this time we're going to be talking about our experience with the Rotary International Tech Competition. When we arrived we were given a simple scenario that the whole task would be based around. The scenario was that the train carrying nuclear waste had derailed and the waste had fallen into a remote location. Our task was to build a crane that would retrieve the nuclear waste and bring it back to where we were. It was a 3D printed toilet roll that we had to pick up with a magnet and the track was just two pieces of wood. If you're struggling to visualise the course, this might help you. These wooden blocks represent both sides of the track. At one end of the track, there is a nuclear waste, represented by the green marble. At the other, these sets of four beads represent the start line, that the competitors must not cross. This wind-up snail represents the crane. The crane then magnetically picks up the nuclear waste and heads off. So now we've looked at what the task was, let's look about how we went about solving it. So, here is the robot that we designed. As you can see, here we have the actual hook for lifting up the nuclear waste. Then we have a drive assembly for pushing it along on the wheels. We also have a gearing system so that the motor can be geared down to drive the pulley. On top of this, we had to make a remote control since we didn't have any double pole, double throw changeover switches. So here's our makeshift one with the batteries on the back. We have the two positive contacts here, the negative contacts here and then the two motor contacts here. So without further ado let's take a look at it working. So if I connect these two together like this and this like this you'll see the hook going down and then I'm just going to reverse that now over here and you should see the hook rising up again. So, to all intents and purposes, that is the robot we built in just over three hours. I'm now going to explain how we were marked and what percentage of the marks went where. So, 50%. went for the build. And then the rest of the 50% went for the design. Fifty marks were awarded for the end test. The other 50 marks are split up into categories such as the portfolio, which will be shown later, and also teamwork within the team. So here is our portfolio, as we mentioned earlier in the video. Sorry about the post-it notes, but these cover our school name and our own names for privacy reasons. Now, here is our job assignments. Not much to say there. Now we have... The wheel and base design. Basically, for this, we have, as you saw, two wheels and uh, either side with a rod going through the middle of them for basic structure and movement. Here we have the frame design. Again, it's kind of the same as the last one. But on the other side, we have a view of what we thought was going to be our design but as it says there 
after we had a look at it, we realised that it would be too high and too chunky for it to be any use. So we changed it to this final base design here. Now here we have the control switch design and one of our members is going to explain that to you now. Okay, so basically as you saw earlier, this is simply three bits of wood drawn here, glued together with Gorilla adhesive and then we've got a couple of split pins and paper clips allowing the switch to be moved and then connecting the contacts between them. We had a bit of iterative design as I originally planned only to have the one paper clip but then that soon became apparent that that wasn't going to work. So let's carry on with the rest of the portfolio. For one of our final pages we have the motor mount design and the pulley. The pulley acted as our mount for a counterweight so that our robot or slash crane didn't just fall over. It, here is another crane design but in more detail and as you saw we were successful in recreating this. And here is just an equipment list that we use to keep track of what we have used. Okay you've seen what we made and now let's see what we have to show for it. We got a certificate of participation. Now, obviously we'd like to have been higher up the table, but can't have that every time. Once again, we've used post-it notes to cover up some personal information. So, yeah. But we did! We did come second! And thank you so much to everyone who supported us. It was actually a really good day out. Thank you for our teachers for entering us into this competition and the team at the Rotary International Competitions who were supporting us the whole day. It was a really good learning curve for the whole team involved and it's really going to help with our future in us robotics. We also got awarded this second place trophy for the foundation level. This was a really nice end to an amazing day. Thank you so much to everyone who was involved. From one end, pick up. Have a look and push it. <laughs> <laughs>